actually known as a Marth player. It has yeah. a, a Fox equally as good. I was um, hoping to see that because yeah. I'm a Marth player. Yeah, no, Zamp's Marth is so sick. I know, that's why right, I, wanted so to, I wanted to see what he would do. Esquire taking a quick... Alright, he is important one. Awesome. So, Esquire taking the initiative first, putting him in the corner. But uh, Tsuki out nares. So... It's kind of like how the Fox uh, Ditto opens up. It's who can get that first knockdown into a tech situation. It's also on the idea that who can tech shines better. Yes. If you can tech shine, you're playing the defensive game very well. And if you can't, well, good luck, sir. Uh, so, I like the dabble in Fox mm -hmm. a lot. And I think one of the things that people don't realize is when you get shine jab, they fall for it every time. Oh, Just yeah. Just shine jab. Yeah, uh, shine jab. If you can't smash. tech that, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. You're just going to lose. <laughs> If you want to really pay attention oh, to nice. uh, Phil's neutral style, um, he has very good use of uh, full hop. He's very good defensive movement. He's, He's a not big necessarily platform like, lover. Exactly, he loves platforms. Oh, unfortunate SD from Dempt. Uh, but Phil is known for having a very calculated style. He's a very smart player, as well as his defensive movements. Phenomenal. All right, quick cleanup from Dempt. Uh, one stock down. He's been here. He's been playing melee for a very, very long time. He's more than capable of bringing this back. For sure. I also know Phil is being a little bit of a tilter. Uh, yeah. So a little bit. He has. He puts a lot of pressure on himself. He does. Uh, he, as you know, probably know. But he's he been getting better at it. Yeah. I've heard. He won Dodge too. And uh, ooh. Yeah. Phil <laughs> or um, dude, not Phil. Um. All right, so back at the neutral. I feel like up I feel like Dem's not getting enough off his up airs. Um, yeah, I'd have to agree. Uh, I also don't see so much use of up to. We just got saw Dem using a little bit. Uh, caught Phil on his back foot. But oh, nice ledge dashes. Actually, I was playing uh, friendlies with Phil before the tournament started. Uh -huh. His ledge dashes are so crisp. You have to respect it. It's it's every every fox now. It yeah, it's scary. Just... It, it went from no one being able to do it to it's all anyone knows how to do now. I'll be honest, I practiced last dash for a few hours. Just a, just a habit. Oh, excellent reverse nice. back air from Phil. Shortens to keep something near the ledge. And shine back air. That was good. See, the difference I see between the two players right now is Phil's getting a lot more off his up throws, mm -hmm. and Dempt is not. Dempt is like getting maybe one hit and then it's resetting, where I find Phil is actually like getting a full sequence solid like see he's getting like 60 percent almost every single time which is really yeah really he's good. really following up off that first up air it doesn't look like um it might be phil's di that's keeping um that's making it hard for uh Demp to follow up but it also might be that just Demp's not prepared to get that next hit but i i think it might be phil honestly because i know that Demp has has those follow-ups for sure yeah grab opportunity box off stage High back air, full back air. That was smart. Couldn't quite cover ledge fast enough. Playing real patient. Dem seems a little scared. Shine back air, that'll do it. Solid. Excellent game from Phil. Um, I didn't see too many mistakes, which is really... That's a great sign that Phil's doing well. It's not like... You're not going to see Phil bust out a lot of the flashy stuff, and that's how you know he's feeling himself. When he's not getting opened up at all, that's when you know his defensive game is shining. There is the And here comes the Marth. Yeah, this is what I expected. I thought he was going to open up He didn't ban FD, really? Interesting. Uh, I think Phil, he was thinking of the Fox. He was thinking of the Fox. He knew that. That's fair. He has the chain grab game. For sure. It's chain, get, chain grab game unlocked, but now the roll's reversed a little bit. I also think that um, Dempt is a little bit more of a swingy Marth, so maybe Phil yeah. knew that and um, wasn't too scared of getting grabbed. Also, like I said earlier, Phil's a very good defensive player. He knows how to play and avoid simple um, game plans like, oh, I want to get a grab on a chain grab, I want to get a grab on a chain grab. You know what I mean? One of the things, because I know he probably studies, so. Me and Phil actually have a connection we're both big, big friends with. Lucky. Big oh, really? Lucky. Yep, we're big friends with him. So, big big thing I know is he probably takes his style a lot, and one thing that Lucky likes to do is very hot and cold. It's very much how I see him play. Okay. All the time. That's kind of where the platform game comes in. The only difference between how Phil does it and how Lucky does it is that Lucky likes to do it on the ground, where Phil likes to do it in the air. That makes sense. So I can see him oh, being... Oh, nice was, combo from Dempt. Really good. So I can see why he'd be fine with coming to this stage, because this stage, if you play it on cold, 
well, Marth has a way harder chance. Of course, Marth, if he does get the one grab, he could kill right off it. You need to tech that. Uh, if you do get the one grab, it could be death, but at the same time, at our level of play, that's not always going to be the case. Although he's doing really good at these up throws right now. Oh, no jump. Oh, man, he just jumped. That was a really aggressive dare from Phil. Neutral jump, just see what he would do. Wow. I expected the fair, but that goes better than I. What a worst that hit. That was wonky, yeah. <laughs> Maintain, missed, hold on to a little bit of invincibility, but not long enough to avoid that second hit, that back end of that hit. He's getting, Phil's getting a lot of those uh, shines off just running shine, and he's not really following up on them well, and I think that's the reason why he's behind in this set, to be honest. Because he's winning a lot of neutral with them, but then he doesn't do anything off it. Big opening from Phil, what can he do with it? Definitely not doing as well as he was against the Fox in the up air department, but that's the matchup. Ooh. Ooh, can't quite connect on the shine, can't finish it. Down Ooh, nice to up air, to nice! Ooh, that was pretty. Excellent wait from Phil. That was really smart. Doors open, Spanish to tie up the stock. Nice. Stock now. One of, my, one of my favorite things that I noticed that a lot of foxes like to do, and they call me out on it too, which is really bad. They'll just run up shield when we're, they're at this high percent, and it just calls them out. I should have been doing that against R2, I'll be honest. It's one of my game plans that I like to do, but um, I don't want to talk about my set during the set. I'll, <laughs> do right. that, I'll, I'll do that later. That was alright. Nice shine pressure. Oh no! That's the wrong move. <laughs> That would have been, oh, that be been huge. Too. Oh, this could be it. This is scary for Phil in the corner. He drops it. Nice. He shouldn't have jumped. He should have called him out. Nice. nice. Still Ooh, in the that air. was really good. I'll do it. No, not quite. Good guy for Phil. Yeah, throws out the jab so he might be able to react to it, but. Oh, brave with the neutral B. You that looks you, so cool in the air. You could just shine that though. Did you see that? It did look sick. That would look but really. He, I've he never seen that it. in the air. That looks awesome. <laughs> Could have recovered that too. I think Phil gave up a little bit too much on that yeah. game. So it looked like. Oh, the, 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 the multi hit in the air. That, yeah. That looks epic. I've never seen that in the air. It's funny how simple that is too. Yeah. So like, it's it's crazy how it looked that cool. Yeah. But he could he could have just went out and shined it. Yeah. If, imagine what would have happened in that game if we'd have gotten that shine spike instead of that laser. Oh, uh, it would have been. I think Phil would have won it, to be honest. Alright, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, definitely Fox favorite, but still, Marth's in this meta love this stage. So I could definitely see this going either way from just a stage standpoint. I think it comes down. Marth's like this when it depends what the transformations are. Because this stage, this part of the stage is amazing. I love this as Marth. But I reason why I don't counter pick here a lot myself. Transformations. I get screwed by those transformations all the time. It's ridiculous. Same. I got killed by a forward smash on the like you know in the wire transformation, the the little wooden hill. Yep. Um how it slants down. I got killed by the tipper. Because he, he was on the very left slant. Makes sense. And it reached down below the ledge. Like, that was silly. I'm gonna have to go back and watch myself. Do some analysis. That's a good call out. Holds that. Nice. Fills up stock. I think Phil is starting to do better on calling out Demp's movement. Demp's kind of like waiting a lot more and just moving around him. And he's starting to actually call out his movement instead of just waiting for him to throw out a move. Nice. Nice shine stall. All right, back to even. A uh, small percent deficit from Dempt, but nothing that he can't overcome with one back throw. What is with it with Foxes not being able to detect the down, the down throw? It's it's weirdly fast. I get it, but like they, they need to be more prepared for it for sure. I I, I think most Foxes just anticipate the up throw every single time. You know I, mean? I get that too, but that's why it's such a good mix up, and they need to be prepared for both. It's one of those things like I feel every Fox. I mean, shine me playing though. today, everyone fell for it. Even Connor. Oh, really? Yeah. Even Connor was falling for it. And I was like, why? Of course, the rare times I ever got a grab on Connor, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, good pressure. Ooh, I really liked that. Excellent shine from Phil. Bring it back two stocks apiece. 
This Demi is where the tides the, turn. Demi's to watch on his recovery, too, for sure. I think he's not respecting Phil's patient game. I think he's expecting the, the fox that likes to go out. I think this is where mental stability really takes over. The, the two stocks, the two stocks, you don't want to be the guy going into your last stock first. Mm -hmm. That's just so hard on, on your mentality. However, Demp's been playing for a long time. You've got to imagine that he's been in this situation hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of times. So should that happen to him, he's not going to be affected by it as much as Phil will probably. Nice. Wow, nice really wait. good patience. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, good call out from Demp. Trades Demp's it. Can he get back in time? Yes, he can. Oh, wow. Unfortunate. There's one of those situations where people, the Marth doesn't, like, you need a fair. Fair on edge guard is actually so good, because even if you hit it, it can set up to an F smash. So it's like, even if it doesn't kill just off the fair, you have that set up. And, and you also have the, uh, the PPMD style. You can just keep knocking him off. It's fine. Exactly. Just knock him off. You can take your time. They can yeah. only recover so long. Yeah. Playing with Marth on this. Oh, oh okay. this could be bad. Okay. That Playing against Marth in this little tree, he needs to move back. He can hit through that tree. I, I love tricking foxes and just making them think they're safe when they're not. Nice dash dance from Demp. This could be it. No, he missed. He actually rolls. They're both nervous. They're both rolling a lot now. Ooh, bad. Nice dash. shield from Phil. This could. Oh, man. It's all so scary. This game could end any second. Nice. Ooh. Dem's playing a lot more aggressive now. I think he thinks he has to get something, which I think is false. And Phil takes off, that though. trade. 2-1 to Esquire. That was a good game. I need to go make sure I don't even play. I'll be Not a problem. Definitely think Demp played a little bit too aggressive, and he should have just played the waiting game. He's Marth. He can do that. Dylan, I got it. Yo. Soul Patch beat Millhouse. Yeah, I saw Did he actually? One. Soul Patch? Really? Alright, I want to commentate this set. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck Amateur Bracket. Let's be real. I know I bustered out against Ice Climbers. It's fine. But. <laughs> eh. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, let's go, Phil. Let's go, Boated. So, who do we have next? Soul Patch and um, Esquire. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Phil made it that. Oh, oh look. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. We have the thing right here. Oh. 